Hey there! Okay, what I want you guys to notice now for this video is, remember how Jesus was very excited when the 70 came back and gave him a report of all the things they had done and he rejoiced greatly, but he didn't do that for the 12 that he had sent out in Luke chapter 9? Well, you'll also notice that when the 12 came back to Jesus and gave an account to him of what they had done, they weren't very excited. Hmm, remember how in Luke 10, when the 70 came back, they were all excited and shocked at the authority and the power that they had and what they were able to accomplish. But the 12, they came back and they just gave an account and off they went with Jesus. Hmm, why weren't the 12 as excited about the results of their ministry that the 70 were in the next chapter? Oh, we know why. Because since the 12 represent the pre-trib raptured bride, she's in her glorified body, she comes down to earth, she's ministering to the left behind church. At mid-trib, the church is raptured. That represents the 70 that are sent out later. They've got their fancy body on and they're ministering down on earth, trying to preserve the remnant. and. The thing is about the 12, they weren't surprised about the results of their ministry. They weren't surprised with what they could do with the power and authority Jesus had invested in them. They were already aware of what their raptured bride body would look like, what it was capable of, because they've been studying what's on the heart of the Father to accomplish. That's the reason why the bride was chosen to go up pre-trib, because the bride has made herself ready for that next step of ministry. She made herself ready by studying prophecy. Okay, so when she comes back to earth to minister to the Left Behind Church, She's already prepared for what's going to happen. She already knows the heart of the Father. She's been chasing after His heart. She knows what He wants to accomplish and who He is going to accomplish it with and how He's going to accomplish it. She knows how things land on His calendar because she loves the Father, because she knows Jesus came to reconcile mankind. He came to take their hand and connect them with the Father through Him. See, there's many who are still just clinging to Jesus. They haven't even taken the time to get to know the Father. This is what studying Bible prophecy does. We're learning it from the Father. We're getting the Father's heart directly from Him through Jesus the Word and the power of the Holy Spirit. So you see, when the 12 came back, they knew they were prepared for that ministry. It's not that they didn't love what was accomplished. It just is that they came back, gave Jesus an account. Yep, just like we learned. Okay, but you see, when the 70 are sent out, they're just babes. They've only had about three and a half years, that first half of the tribulation, to really learn much about Bible okay, prophecy. But the bride, the criteria is very different because she is a skilled helpmate. In order to be a skilled helpmate, we must get the skills. We must learn and study from our Lord, and we are sticking close to Jesus. We're studying the Gospels. We're learning prophecy from the Master Prophet, the Prophet, the Teacher, our Lord, our Savior, our Groom. Everything is hidden for us, for the Bride. We're at His feet. We're paying attention. We're prayerfully studying. We're getting the heart of the Father. We're watching why Jesus said what He said, who He said it to, where He said it, when He said I it. I love that you're here with us on this amazing journey. And you know, we're just all learning this together. It's so much fun, isn't it? So I want to commend you for sticking with your studies. And I know that you want to pass all these things on to your family. So we're just trying to equip you as we're learning how to teach all this to our family families as well. So may God bless you richly. May He mature your spirit. Lay, may He pour out the spirit of prophecy upon you. 
Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye.